Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. We'll get a couple more shuffles in for you, and then we'll see what messages we can get for you. All right, let's see. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Thank you. We start off with the Six of Pentacles. This is about equal give and take, reciprocity. It's also about being in a position where you're either receiving charity or being um, the giver of charity some of you may be in a position where you can um be generous to others some of you may be needing to have that gener generosity um be the recipients of that generosity let's see what other messages we, we can get um i'm also hearing that things are going to be balancing out um what other messages for pisces please spirit what other messages do you have for pisces Thank you. The next two messages we have is the two of wands. There is a decision. You're at a point, Pisces, where you have the world in your hands and the world before you. And it's up to you what decision you want to make to go forward. And then we have the four of swords. Four of swords is a card of, of um, respite, renewal, healing, recovery. Um, swords are mental energy communication for is a number of stability. So we're seeing also making a decision that's going to provide you with peace, making, knowing what the right decision is based on the way it gives you peace, whether you make a decision and it, it's very unrestful, it's very disruptive, you feel on, at edge or on edge about the decision you make, that's an indicator that it may not be the right decision for yourself. Um, but if you make a decision that, you know, you really evaluate, you know, the pros and cons and, and figure out, you know, this is the, the best choice I can make. It gives me the most peace out of all the different alternatives. And you are knowing um, with the most confidence you can have that that decision is the one that's going to lead you to a place of, of recovery, of peace, of rest. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? And then we have the Two of Cups. So twos being the decisions, unions, choices, contracts, cups being emotions. So we do see the Two of Cups also is about love unions and coming together with your special person. Um, coming together with somebody in an opportunity as well. We'll dive into that more in a moment. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? The next message we have is the Queen of Cups. You in your feminine energy, in the feminine water energy, Pisces, um, we see you coming here, holding on to what's meant for you, listening to your intuition, employing your empathic abilities as well making a decision, also listening to your intuition to make that decision. Um, here, two of cups, making a decision, um, using your empathic abilities. What other messages for Pisces, please? Then the next message we have is the eight of swords. The eight of swords is a card about your locus of control. Now the locus of control, you can see the perspective of having your external locus of control or an internal locus of control. And what that means is an external locus of control is feeling as though the world is acting upon you that you have no um power you're disempowered in a situation whereas an internal locus of control speaks about your self-empowerment you're feeling as though you are the master commander you you're running the shots and that the choices you make are able to get you out of situations now the eight of swords is speaking about seeing the world as disempowered having mental thoughts again the swords being thoughts about 
being trapped, feeling stuck, and feeling I'm also getting the energy of feeling isolated. So I'm actually going to go one more layer deep and pull three more cards. Normally, if you're familiar with the readings, I, I do the six main cards, but I'm going to pull three more. This might be a little bit longer of a reading, but I'm feeling compelled to like pull more information. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages for Pisces? Okay, and here we're getting three more cards. Um, the next card we're having for your message today, Pisces, is the Three of Swords. And it's very interesting because when I was um, speaking to the Eight of Swords here, I was also getting Eight of Swords plus Four of Swords is Twelve of Swords, which reduces to the Three of Swords, which we see next. And the Three of Swords here is indicating that there's been some type of pain, some type of loss, some type of mental, again, the sword energy, mental anguish that is prolonged in your energy, some type of um, sadness. The Three of Swords can also speak of sadness that really is impacting your energy. Now, this could be a past energy that needs to be released, or it could be something you're currently going through. I'm also feeling um, that for some of you, it's, it's concern about future heartache and pain. The next card we have is the Two of Pentacles, and this is about repeating cycles, needing to make a decision but kind of going back and forth, feeling as though you're in an energy of instability. We can see one foot on the ground, one foot off, kind of juggling the different coins, not really sure, a state of um, unsteady energy. The next card we have here is the Three of Wands. So you're waiting to get out of this unsteady energy, this indecision. We'll clarify this Two of Wands in a moment to see exactly what's going on here. But we're overall seeing... Um, the two of pentacles, the two of cups, and the two of, of wands showing that you're, make, you're going through a time of making many different decisions that are going to really impact your life. And as um, we start off with the six of pentacles, this is about making balanced decisions within the six of pentacles. You can see three and three. So making sure that you're you're really weighing scales, weighing out your decisions, the pros and cons, as we said before, of the choices you're going to be making. Um, really having also introspection and making sure that you're not making emotional decisions, but you're making very pragmatic, clear-minded um, decisions. Not from a place of heartache and pain, but a pain, a place of really evaluating what it is you truly want um, and what it is you want to come into your life. What is the Six of Pentacles for Pisces, please? What is the Six of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? And here for the Six of Pentacles, we're getting the Hermit. And now we're seeing here with the Hermit, Hermit's Wisdom, Virgo Energy, make, you know, really doing, using your past experience to determine what it is you want, how you want to go forward, what decisions you want to make for yourself. What is this two of wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this two of, thank you, for the two of wands we're having the world. So making the decision that's going to bring you the most satisfaction, um, that's going to be the most fulfilling for you and bring you to a place of completion. I, I'm getting the word fulfillment again. Uh, you know, making a decision that's truly going to be fulfilling for you, not a hollow victory, not a impatient decision, but something that's going to be very impactful for you. The world is also about walking through a new gateway, walking through a new portal. So you may very well, um, some of you might be going in a new direction, going through a new door, closing one chapter and going into something new. What is this four of swords for Pisces, please? What is this four of swords for Pisces, please, spirit? And for the four of swords, we're getting into the knight of cups. So as you Go towards, make decisions that bring you to a place of peace and rest. You're creating an emotional change. You're taking action within your own life that's going to lead to a new opportunity, a new offer, and also a, a very, I'm hearing profound emotional change because you're using your wisdom, you're using your past experience to choose a new doorway, a new path, something much more satisfying and much more um, complete for you. Let's see what this Two of Cups is. What is this Two of Cups for Pisces, please? 
What does Pisces need to know about this Two of Cups, please, Spirit? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Knight of Swords. So we're seeing the Knight of Swords is a, a card of very fast moving energy. The Knight of Cups is a moderate taking, it's a speed of moder moderate speed. Does that even, is that even coming out clearly? It's, it's worse versus the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving Knight. And then you have the, the Knight of Cups, then the Knight of Wands, and then the Knight of Swords being the fastest energy. So I'm feeling here something is going to be very quick to evolve. Once you make your intentions known to the universe, to God, to the angels, you're going and you're very much in, have internal peace and clarity about what it is you want, the energy is going to move very fastly to bring it to you, to bring this union, to bring this um, change to you. What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Queen of Cups? Thank you. For the Queen of Cups, we're getting the chariot. And here, the chariot is a major arcana, and it's the fastest moving energy in the tarot deck. Um, so we're seeing again the the emphasis on once you have that clarity once you have that vision for yourself that is puts you in a place of rest puts you in a place of peace the energy is going to shift you're going to have that you know let your intuition inform you and guide you as to your path forward too but the chariot at the center of the reading with the queen of cups is showing that you will have victory you will have forward movement even though you might feel that you're in this eight of swords energy so let's see what's going on in this eight of swords energy what is this eight of swords thank you for the eight of swords we're having the devil so this is showing me that the devil is working in your life to make you feel stuck. You have, um, whenever you're about to go to the next level of your life, darkness may surround you. You may feel chained. You may feel bound. You may feel as though you're in situations or circumstances that you're not able to overcome. And this is a a message to you Pisces not to listen to the lies of the devil not to listen to the lies of the darkness but to find your self-empowerment find that locus of control that comes from within you you know and you may also want to rely on source rely on your angels guides guardians ancestors God divine universe however you reference a higher power to help you shape your your thoughts and your perspective to help lift you out of any chains, any binds, any dark energy. The devil, I'm also feeling for some of you, could be a, a feeling of weight that's upon you, um, that you may feel as though you're very burdened by your circumstances. I'm gonna actually pull one more card, one card for this devil. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this devil, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this devil? Thank you. For the devil, we're getting the star. So we see you moving forward, um, having hope, aligning yourself, not giving attention to the darkness, but giving attention to the light. The light being source of pure divine energy, the source of love. This, the star is also um, hope. It's one of hope and, and having hope and belief and healing Versus the contrast of the devil, which is darkness and constriction and being bound. So it's really here with the Eight of Swords showing there could be a very real need for you, Pisces, to make sure your thoughts are focused on aligning with your true desires, those decisions, that clarity, and having hope rather than feeling defeated by dark energy. What is this Three of Swords for Pisces, please? What is this Three of Swords for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Empress. One more card for this Three of Swords, please. One more card for this Three of Swords. Show us clearly what we need to know. And here we have one more card. And we have the Page of Wands. So we have the Empress energy and the Page of Wands clarifying this Three of Swords. So we're seeing that you're, you're really closing yourself out 
to heartache and pain. And I'm feeling it's not so much that you're closing yourself out to it, but you're coming to terms with the fact that you may have had some pain, some loss, some heartache, some situations that may have even been unfair or unjust, but you're you're returning to your seat of power in the Empress energy and you're forward looking. The Page of Wands is good news coming in. It's also you beginning on a new journey, a new path. So we're seeing that as you move forward, as you give your energy to hope, give your energy to alignment with positive energy, you're, you're moving yourself out of the Three of Swords energy, out of that pain, that loss, that suffrage, suffering, and moving into Empress energy, which is elevating you back up to your rightful seat putting you back into the place of power over your life, creativity over your life, so you can move forward to manifest. What is this two of pentacles, please? What does Pisces need to know about this two of pentacles? Thank you. For the two of pentacles, we have the moon. So you are being challenged with um, your beliefs. The moon also is a card of emotions, melancholy, and subconscious energy. So you may be ha noticing that certain things might be repeating in your energy or your circumstances or your experience. And it's really to bring you out of darkness. It's to, as we see the devil and the moon, but here we also have the chariot. So you're, you're moving out of darkness. The, you may have had repeating cycles or situations that were imbalanced or unsteady, unstable, but we're really seeing you moving out of that energy. Let's clarify this moon. Moon also being Pisces energy. It can also be that your path may not be clear to you. Some of you might be feeling a little bit disoriented, feeling as though you're in the darkness, but we do have the star here. The star is about, you know, following your true north, following what is truly in alignment for you and not getting swayed by the darkness that may be around you. What is this moon for Pisces? What is this moon for Pisces, please, spirit? And for the moon, we're having three cards come out. Let's make some room. The first card we have is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is about stability, security, finances. Some of you could have been really struggling with your finances. Then we have the Two of Cups. So the, the Two of Cups, as we mentioned it before, is about unions, contracts, choices, also decisions. Then we have the King of Wands. King of Wands is a card about empowerment. It's also masculine, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. So we're seeing you could have been impacted by somebody in a position of power or somebody who has fire in their chart. But this is also about you making decisions. Um, some of you may be making decisions that involve your family, your finances or relationships. Um, I'm going to pull one more card for this Two of Pentacles. One more card for this Two of Pentacles. One more card for this Two of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Show us clearly. One more card for this Two of Pentacles. Thank you. And then we have the Three of Swords coming out again. So we do see you may be going through a challenging time, um, but the, the challenging time is not meant to stay in, but to overcome. It's an opportunity for you to choose the light, to choose to shine, to choose to have optimism, perhaps even in the face of a dark situation. What is this Three of Wands for Pisces, please? What, what is this? Thank you. For the Three of Wands, we're getting the Two of Pentacles. One more card for this. Thank you. And for the Three of Wands, we're also getting the Six of Cups. So this is showing repeating past patterns. Um, you're going to be moving forward when you no longer are repeating a past pattern or past behavior. When you get clear that hermit wisdom of experience really shining a light on what's going to bring you into balance. We see oppositions here in the reading between light and darkness about choosing to be in a mindset that's keeping you in a perpetual or seemingly perpetual holding pattern of darkness, of despondency, of feeling stuck versus being in a thought pattern of optimism, of light, and of positivity. What is this Two of Pentacles for Pisces, please? What is this Two of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? For the Two of Pentacles, we're getting the judgment. This is a decision time. This is a time of awakening, of following your calling, of listening um, 
of not allowing the past to repeat itself. What is the Six of Cups, please? For the Six of Cups, we have the lovers coming out. Now, the lovers with the Six of Cups, for me as a reader, can indicate soulmate energy. We do have the Two of Cups twice in this reading. So some of you, this reading could be related to a soulmate um, coming in or, or, or somebody. For some of you, you may have been dealing with the devil energy in a soulmate. It could be a karmic relationship that needs star energy healed um but here we have um lovers next to judgment as well which would indicate lovers is gemini energy and judgment is a decision lovers is also indicating a decision a decision during gemini season is going to bring you out of a repeating cycle or a mindset that may have been running counterproductive to what you truly desire and what you truly want for your life spirit one card for the overall energy of this reading for pisces please one card for the overall energy of this reading for pisces thank you and here for this overall energy we are getting love begins so for some of you this is going to indicate choices around relationships emotions and partnerships um, the love begins is also about a new emotional beginning, something new coming in. This is the Ace of Cups. So it's also answered prayers. We can see the rainbow in the background and the rainbow is a promise from God um, that the world will never flood again. So just as you may feel as though your life might be flooding, God is there, divine is there to support you and wash away the darkness and to help you step into that light. Remembering who you are, that you are a child of God, you are a child of divine, um, however you reference um, the higher power again. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading. Thank you. And here for your oracle Pisces, we are getting abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. And that's what, again, what we're speaking to is about, you know, you have the world in your hands and the world before you at your feet. You have experience under your belt that can help you make well-balanced, thoughtful decisions, understanding that the decisions you make, the way something makes you feel is an indicator of if it's right for you or if it's in resistance to your soul's path. If it brings you to a place of peace and calm, that's an indicator that it's in alignment with you. Spirit, one herb oracle for Pisces. One herb oracle for Thank you. And we have a couple coming out. The first one we have today is darkness. So we are seeing an element of darkness, overcoming the darkness, you know, uprooting any chains, any binds that may be holding you in a pattern of darkness, depression, melancholy. Oh, there's a lot of cards here. Um, the next card we have here is patience. So you know, you have been patient through the process. Ginkgo um, is a very beautiful um, leaf. Um, and I, I am seeing that the patience is going to bring beauty into your life. The next card we have is the subconscious, which is exactly what we were speaking about is really understanding what's the inner workings of your subconscious. The next card we have is abundance. So abundance is coming through two times for you in this reading. And let's get an angel answers. Oops, here we go. So we do have a no coming through, but I'm going to ask Spirit more clearly. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. Thank you. And we have improving health. So we see the situation is going to be improving for those of you who may have been um, having... Um, issues with financial health, physical health, mental health. We do see that you're going to be having improvement. I'm going to get another deck and see what this no answer is. Spirit, why do we have this no, please? Why is this no here? And here we have the three of pentacles coming out. It, it fell on the floor, so I'm going to grab it. Hold on one second, guys. And here we have the three of pentacles coming out for the no so i i am i'm hearing that something you were working on maybe needed to be abandoned and your your decision may need to be focused on some new energy i'm going to pull some psalms spirit one psalms for pisces for this reading please one psalm oracle and here we have the lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works then we have all angels shall encore. 
in all before the glory in all before God's visible power. So this is an indicator that God is God's power is definitely working in your life um, to help guide you, shift you and mold your circumstances but you know you do have the free will to make the choices that are going to be supportive of your journey we see you moving out of perhaps a karmic situation a past situation or repeating energy um, and moving towards improving health here and hope and alignment spirit one fortune cookie oracle and here we do have romance so we are having the energy of romance of love of connections of relationships in this reading for so for some of you this reading may lean more towards connections and emotional factors rather than you know other circumstances such as work or um, professional life or finances and here we have love is set to sizzle the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection let's pull one more fortune cookie oracle spirit one more fortune cookie or thank you and here for your last fortune cookie oracle today pisces we're getting signs your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. And that's, you know, that's really a beautiful card to get for this reading because we see you're on the precipice, the edge of making a decision or multiple decisions for yourself, you know, to come out of darkness, to come out of a situation that seem, may have been seeming as though you're trapped, restrained, constricted, and you're moving forward, the three of wands, two of pentacles and six of cups is showing along with the judgment and lovers is showing that you're making decisions for yourself um, that are going to be fair and balanced using your past experience to lift you out and move you into an improving time for yourself this is the message i have for you today pisces god bless